So NAS, as most folks know, stands for Network as a Service. It's a variant of uh, compute and storage as a service that people consume via AWS, and it's the same idea. You know, being more flexible about how you acquire, deploy, and operate your networks um, around a model that looks a lot like cloud services. But you know, what we've done and what we've seen over the last three years is that as we manage networks, and we have about 50 different installations that we're managing on behalf of customers, we've learned a lot. And one of the things we've learned is that one size doesn't fit all. There's no formula for NAS. And there may be people who say there is, and if you don't do it this way, you're not really NAS. Well, the whole point is about the network as a business critical resource. And the networking team needs to provide services as the business requires them. So we've come up with a concept of providing choice around the NAS model, and we call that Agile NAS. And there are six factors or six dimensions to the NAS decision that we've defined and that a customer can use to think about how they want to acquire. Is it OpEx or is there some CapEx involved? How do they want to manage? Is it self-managed or do they want to use third-party services? Uh, is there a choice around deployment? Do they want to deploy the management software on-prem? On or in the cloud? Do they need to flex up and down or do they have a steady state of demand? And finally, and perhaps most importantly, you know, what's the network foundation? What's underneath all the SLAs and other things that they need to accomplish? So when you think about those six factors and as a customer goes through those, they can make a decision about what kind of NAS solution they want. And then they come to us and we have a full range of solutions to satisfy each of those requirements.